Tell me about a day in your life. What time do you get up in the morning? Um, it's so crazy to or see you because I record your show. It's just like it's so different to see you in person. Yeah. I'm Can I give you a hug? What time do you get up? I don't know. When do, I don't even go to bed, so. I mean, since January? I slept in like four days. My appetite, Dad, have I not been acting weird? Maybe you look. And I, why do you look, you look so good? So this is like weird, see my family so pretty, and I look like a hot mess. I'm so sorry, you just. You don't, you don't go to bed much? You don't sleep um, much? I don't sleep throughout the night, but yesterday I did. You have a great mm -hmm. producer who needs a raise, by the way. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure everyone gets tips. Yeah, yeah, from you, yeah. 12, 15 till 5. She told me to go to bed and I went to bed. I went to bed. Like, mm -hmm. four hours, four and a half. I can't, my legs Last night. Night. OK. And um, <laughs> when you're on the street, what do you do when you're just out walking around, hanging around? You don't drive, been. do you? Um, yeah, I do. It's so easy, this last relapse. You drive? I don't have a car because the car I had, I rented out to a dealer. And it was ruined. When was that? I don't know. That was the first time I ever stole money from you. So she actually took, um, this was years ago. So I'd say about four years, five years ago. I robbed my own mother mm -hmm. in the car after we realized we couldn't take my car at an pound. And then I overdosed that night for the first time. Mm -hmm. He's going to say I stole from him, but like those are two Potawatomi chips, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you say you sell your body for drugs, how often do you do this? Um, I don't know, it'd be maybe like a few times a week. Pardon me? A few times a week. I, I was with somebody that like took care of me. I mean, for the drug life aspect. Mm -hmm. I wanted to even call him before he like, I don't know why I had this thing with him. I was literally, being, I'm being, I just feel I'm being tested in every way possible. I went home, like just like, not by yeah. you guys or anything, but... And how long have you been here in town? When did you get here to L.A.? Since Saturday. And then, like, you remember when we went for that walk? My dad and I went for a walk, and I was offered, like, crystal meth. Like, yeah, I had a craving, but, like, you know, I didn't do it. It's, like, it's so weird. Just, I, before I even knew we were coming here, I begged to get my life back to, like, my higher power. Mm -hmm. And it's already happening. Like, I'm literally withdrawing. I'm excited. I'm sorry. And did you pick up any street drugs since you've been to L.A.? No, swear to God. But I, I honestly wish I was drug tested before we flew out here. Has this drug test thing not been a big deal to me? I feel like everything's going against it, but me. But you are acting more. Exactly. You're not, but this is not just the alcohol. Physical. There's something. That she's also. Man, I would hide a liter of vodka in her garage. If we could FaceTime with Jason, he goes there. There's about 15 bottles in that garage. But I'd get also another bottle, so she thought she had control. She chews her. Prescription. You, uh, I, I go buy it a roll. I mean, I'd buy, like, I abuse everything, Mom. What do you mean? Chew, you keep saying chewing. What do you mean? What I'm saying is. I have a problem. Okay, sorry. well, let me, let me just do a check in with you. Okay, so, sorry. you've been doing what you've been doing because you want to keep her safe and well. Right? Basically. Okay, so you've been doing what you've been doing to keep her safe and well. So, how's that working for you? Not, not, not at all. As you Not look at, at her right now. Not at all. Tell him what you did the other That's day. That's why I'm here. I'm hoping and you can. And this is, this, is, this is what you call safe and well. No. She took my ID. And you yeah, look at say me. if it wasn't for you that she would be dead, that you're the one keeping her alive. Yes. And okay. Yes. So this is what you call living. No. Is it that is, what you're telling she, me? She would not even have been living with me. No, we yeah. We would not have did that three-party petition where we went down. Did down. you understand the yeah, question? Because yeah. you don't sound like you understood yeah. the okay. question. Answer the question. Don't give me a speech. Right. Is this what you call success? You said she's alive because of you, Dad. Is this your success story? No. Is this what you call victory? No. He's been, he doesn't mean to be this way. He just sees you uh, the best. He knows how to do it. She calls you her best friend. Is this what you call being and her I'm not friend? His. He dog, like, God, be, we have to be Is honest. this what you call I'm the being only one her friend? She, she listens to. She don't listen to her ma. She at least listens to me somewhat. Uh, you know, the thing is, you both. So I mean, this is it, your it, advice. This is a sad situation. I agree. This is the product of your advice. Second. No. My advice is for her. Many times we take her to get help, and she doesn't want it. She walks out. This last time, you know, I... What can you do? May well, I how ask can you, How can you help somebody that doesn't want help?